Hello friends, it's Myra here and today I decided to do a quarantine vlog because as we all know we can't go anywhere other than getting some essential stuff and so I decided maybe today is a good day that I can repot my begonia maculata and I have some soils that I bought like before this quarantine started and it's been sitting in my trunk in my car so I decided I should better bring it in so I can go ahead and repot it otherwise it's gonna sit there for who knows so yeah I am well I today I did went to Home Depot and dollar store because I need to pick up something because I have a project that I wanted to do I wanted to do add some hook in the ceiling so I can hang my um, string of hearts because it's getting longer and I keep kind of like making it a loop inside the pot and so it's I think it's needed to expand and get grow even more longer so I decided that it's time for me to hang it to the ceiling so that's gonna be my project uh, hopefully next week because I just ordered some uh, Lekka pebbles last night and it won't be delivered till the 23rd because you know Amazon is prioritizing to ship out the essential items that's all they are prioritizing right now otherwise if it's not essential they have to wait for who knows when so since my order is not essential so I had to be coming on the 23rd so usually it's like a two-day shipping but now it's not so yeah and what else so went to dollar store today because I have a project that I need to do I'll show you guys I created this project because I was inspired of one of the youtuber I will have to link her channel somewhere down before because I forgot her name I think her name is my tiny jungalo or something I wasn't sure and I asked her what and how did she make her uh, grow lights into a nice looking one instead of just like those do you know those um, grow lights that have like like kind of like a metal shade that doesn't look nice so I saw this one youtuber and she got she got it nice and I asked her how did she make it and she told me she bought this wiring materials it is a basket it's a waste basket and she created it. I'll show you here let me turn around my camera and I'll show you what it looks like so this is the project that I created probably a couple months ago since I saw her video and she told me how did she fix it I couldn't get the white wiring basket but it won't match to the wiring because it's black and then the casing of the bulb so I decided to just go for a black one but it still looked nice so I have one in the bedroom that I did fix it that way too so I have gotten another one because I want to create another one I don't know where I'm going to put it so I might put it in like kind of like in the area where my table at my dining table so it will look like I have a chandelier chandelier so yeah that's what it is so let me go get my Vigonia maculata and should start um, repotting it because I'm getting sleepy right now so let me go ahead and go get my Vigonia maculata and start this before I keep talking and talking and talking because once I talk 
I cannot stop. I don't know. So, so yeah, let's do that. Here are some of the mixture oil or what do I call it? The mixture of soils that I use for my plants. So I always like to have orchids. This is like fertilone orchids bark and another orchids mix. I like this. This has like a um, orchids bark and charcoal. So this is very good for like retaining moisture. So and I use this too. This is potting mix. And what else do I use? By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of this. I just thought I shared. This is the kind I really like this. Uh, last year, I bought a lot of this and I pretty much ran out. This is the natural and organic. This is actually um, uh, made from coconut. So, yeah, I mix this along and another orchids bark. I like to get a lot of those because I use that a lot in organic cactus mix and then I use this Fox Farm Ocean Forest soil so yeah I'm gonna mix this I don't know if I'm gonna mix all of this but I'm definitely gonna mix them all together and so because my um, begonia maculata loves the mixture that I always mix so because they tend to get root rot if their soil is soggy and stuff so you need to have their soil to be like kind of like sandy or loamy or loose kind of because they like it that way so let me go get it and start mixing my soil so I'm back guys. I am going to do a mix of my soil so I can repot this begonia maculata. He has grown so big and this um, pot where it's planted right now I have to water this at least once a week and so that's why I decided it's time for me to water it. So yeah. Let me go ahead and make a mixture of my soil. So I forgot I forgot to buy a um light that's the only thing I forget but otherwise I pretty much have what I need so I don't know I'm just gonna skip without perlite for now because I have a lot of mixture here that it should be okay because I have some of this orchids mix and they like this sometimes some people you know they added um, a broken pieces of terracotta to uh, when they make a mixture of soil to repot the begonia maculata because so it's it's not so compact or it won't cause a dry uh, root rot because the good maculata like I said it's like to have like kind of like sandy so this is what it looks like it has like charcoal and barks so what it says here so yeah it says it has Canadian sphagnum peat moss chunks of orchids bark and hardwood charcoal and lava rock. So yeah, that's what I use. And I'm gonna add some of this organic, organic, organic um, 
potting mix. So this is made of coconut. So see, this is what it looks like. So a little bit of that. I'm going to add some ocean forest. I like this one better. Thought I, I thought I saw something flying, but it's it's my imagination. So yeah. This one is kind of like nice and it has a lot of fur light mix into it so I don't really need to add anything more. So this is what it looks like. I don't like to wear gloves because I like the feeling of touching the soil. It's so earthy smell. It smells nice, the smell of the soil. So, so I like the smell of it and I like how to feel it. I don't know about you guys. It's like, it's kind of like brings back the memories when I was a kid. It's very therapeutic to touch it and feel it. So, you can see it it's not falling off so this is the good kind that begonia maculata likes it so so if you're wondering how much portion i mix so this is like about four in so this mixture is like probably like this is like i put like about two two of this of this fox farm and then i put about one of this Potting mix and then this orchid spark potting mix. So that's what I did. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty good mixture. So now I forgot something. I forgot my pots where I'm going to repot my begonia. <laughs> I am so. I'm such a dingbat. So let me go ahead and get it first and then we can go ahead and start repotting it. I just cleaned this floor today. Now I have to clean it again. This is what happens when you don't have big space for like doing gardening. Unlike some other people, they have this really nice space to just do the repotting and filming. I pretty much do everything here so it's life. <laughs> So let me go ahead and go get my pots and start it. So I'm back. I got me the pot. I got this from Walmart for like, I think five something. And it's nice, it's nice and white. So I was hoping to go back there again, but I don't think I can right now because I'm kind of afraid to go back and go places only if I need something that's why so and I have a window screen so that the soil doesn't come up on the bottom on the back underneath the bottom so let me see let me play this again <laughs> one more time it actually feels good to play it I don't know my nails are pretty short so I cannot wear long nails although I wanted to but I cannot so yeah, there you go. it feels good to play it so that's I'm gonna go ahead and put dirt first on the bottom. Oh, you can hear that. That's a good 
sound. It's fun. It's fun to play the soil, but I don't really like doing repotting video because I don't know if a lot of people are enjoying watching some people do the repotting. I don't know. Just oh, I forgot. Well, <laughs> I always add this to my soil mix because it helps for the insect. I mean, since I start using this, I don't have that much thing flying around, and I also forgot. I always add what you might call it. Uh, mosquito bits so that I don't have nuts I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back again and mixing it one more time see I told you this is fun like I'm a little kid playing so where's my screen there you go I dump it out and I'm going to mix my systemic I just sprinkle some, not a lot, this is good enough, and then I'm going ahead and get my mosquito bits. This is how I, I am such an unorganized YouTuber, nothing turns perfect, but hey, Everything is <laughs> done in reality, <laughs> even the mistakes. So, so yeah. Let me go ahead and get my mosquito bits. I'll be back again. So I finally got my mosquito bits. I forgot that I'm running out of it too. So I guess it's time for me to buy some more. So that, I don't know when, but I have to make a trip next time. I got this from Menards and it's more cheaper there than buying a small one. So this, I have this since last year. And you know guys, it actually helps. I just, I'll show you. I just mix it up. Just mix it up like that and to tell you the truth, some people say they see some mold on their soil. I mean, I don't see any harm into my plants because I see it too. But you know what I just do is just like when I see it, I just aerate my soil and it's gone. But you don't have knots. So, but the mold, that's the, the mold, mold, did I say it right? Mold doesn't give a bad effect to the plants. So, I don't know guys if you can see me, but let me move a little bit. You probably won't be able to see me, but that's okay. You'll see me repotting this. So again, I have my screen, window screen. I remember going to Home Depot and asking for help to find a window screen. The guy thought that I was really going to fix a broken window. Because he asked me if I want the whole kit, a whole kit, a whole set of, you know, how to fix the window, window screen. And I said, no, I don't need the whole set. So yeah, let's put this in here. so dry. I didn't water this today because I know I'm going to repot it. 
and if I water it, it'll be hard for me to repair. Oh, did I? Yeah, it's time. It's time for me to repair it. Break this apart, kind of like loosen up the soil, the soil and the roots. That's what I'm going to do right now. This got in so huge since I got it. I don't know. So big. Okay, that's good enough. I think it's loose enough. So let's add this baby. It's actually two. I can separate the other one, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. I mean, I can separate it and no, I'll just leave it alone. I don't want to. Oh, I lost one leaf. Where did this come from? Oh, right there. I didn't pay attention. Casualty. Okay, hurry up, Myra. I meant to get a steak too, so I can steak this, but I forgot. Now I have to wait again. It was a long line today at the Home Depot. It was like, they let you in once a person, like they let you in once somebody get out. So they have a person in the entrance door and they have person at the exit door and then they kind of like I guess talk to each other and say oh two out you can let two in something like that so yeah so I don't know I, I meant to go grab it so I need to stake this because it's getting too long I need something to hold on I forgot. Wow, the mixture of the soil that I mix is just perfect amount. Good job, Moira. So that, that's good. So here it is, my big one, my big begonia. It's done repotting. I just need to fix the side. Too bad. I don't have anything to. Oh, maybe tomorrow I will fall in line again. And go grab me the steak for this. So there you go guys. I am able to repot this. And that's it. And I could use this one for my Lekka plant. I'm planning to I'm supposed to be getting a philodendron birkin sometime this week, so I can't wait. I'm gonna put that one in like a... So I did finally finish repotting my begonia maculata, so this is what it looks like now. Ta -da! Isn't this one so big? Like I said, when I first got it, it's just like this small. And this is still how tall is the new growth right here. It is a pretty, 
pretty pretty tall and the leaves are so huge as in look at about two of this so big so yeah so thank you guys for tuning in here and thank you for watching I hope you find this enjoyable and I hope you able to at least find repotting relaxing because for me it's relaxing I just don't like to do it all the time because I don't want you guys to get bored because who's gonna sit and watch this the whole time so yeah but if you do made this far thank you thank you so much you're one of a kind and hopefully you don't forget to join me in here and subscribe and please click the bell notification so you can be notified every time i upload new video thank you so much for watching i hope to see you again next time bye